Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG. I write the Ask Dave column for QST, and I also have a channel called Ask Dave on YouTube to answer questions. Some of these questions get a little old. I apologize for that, but this one is just last June. This is from Jay Harris. He does not give his call sign, but he says he has a kind of a flat roof, or at least it's what's called, I think, in the trade a shed roof. So it's flat, but angled up at a 32 degree tilt. It's asphalt shingles with metal eave drip running all around it. So the whole thing is circled by this piece of metal, okay? I'd like to run an antenna as close to the roof as possible, but it would be very close to the metal eave drip. Stupid question, but how much of a go-to is this idea? The only stupid question is the one that is not asked. You've asked a question, so it's a good one. I'll tell you what's going on here. That metal circle right there, uh, you could almost load it up as a loop if you wanted to. You'd have to make sure that you've got good connection between the different pieces of it, because you don't have one piece all the way around. And then somewhere it needs to be broken so that you can attach coax to it. Now, if you fed that that way uh, with coax, you'd need a very wide range antenna tuner, the kind that goes up to 10 to 1 SWR, that would work. Now, another thing you can do is get a little ways away from that. If you can run a wire that is the same color as your roof, you can run a loop inside that metal flashing. Okay, it would be very difficult to see, especially if you kept your corners square and everything. Another way of doing it is to come down the outside of the roof, put little, oh, you can get them from Home Depot, the antenna hold-offs that you can put in there that holds off the twin lead end antenna from the wall. You could get that, go all the way around there and put a loop right there, okay? So you've got options that have a real stealth feature to them. And I like the one where you're in a little bit. If it turns out that's a pretty good long loop, then you may want to just make it a dipole that comes like that, okay? Sort of like a quote cobweb dipole. It comes, it's, it's fed here, comes out, up, in, and then they don't touch. You're gonna have fun tuning that, but it can be done. Okay, I'm assuming that in your attic, the insulation has got either a paper or a plastic backing on it. If it has metal foil, all of this goes out the window. It's a little hard to deal with that. You've got a metal ground plane right there. Now, other antennas that are stealth that you can look at, uh, of course, magnetic loops, which can be quite expensive. Some other loop that goes around, for example, on the fence in your backyard. If you have any trees, you can take a small vertical, one that doesn't require radials, and stick it right in next to the tree where it's hidden in the trees. You could even run a couple radials between the various trees. That works too. Um, and of course, there's always the antenna like the uh, new MFJ one where you can put it on a little tripod out back, spread the, the wires, and then when you're done, roll it all up, take it in. Okay, that would work too. Ideally, you want something you can leave up after a while, people don't even see these things. So for example, if you were running radials on the ground, I wouldn't use white wire. Uh, use some dark green or dark brown or something like that so people don't see it. You also can take a little like a edging cutter and cut a line in the grass that goes just down to the root line. And then you can push your radial down into that you may need to use some of what are called garden staples to hold it down. But you get that thing down there, the grass grows over it, you can mow right over the top of it, and you've got a lot of good things going on. So you've got options. 
You can always string attic antennas, which are definitely compromised antennas. You lose gain for that. What else can you put up? Well, there are a lot of people who talk about stealth antennas. So how stealthy they are depends on the size of the wire. You can make an antenna that can take 100 watts with down to 18 gauge wire. A stranded wire is best, but you get the, the cover on the thing, some dark color. Not black, because that actually shows up, but a dark gray or a uh, green or something like that. And you can just string that out, and people won't see an 18-gauge wire. And you can do an NFED dipole with that. And uh, it's just a 49 to 1 ballon, fairly long piece of coax going inside like 40 or 50 feet. That way you don't have to put a counterpoise on it. And then that can go out to a point uh, there somewhere in your backyard and it will barely be visible. This 18 gauge wire is pretty small. So there you have it, some suggestions. I hope they help. And until we next meet, 73.